Peggy 18 The New Colossus is a direct sequel. It picks up immediately where the last one left off. New players will catch up quickly and get what the game is about, but for returning players, of course, they will know all of the backstory and they'll just be able to flow right into the narrative of this game. They're looking for you. Even though BJ is severely injured, you never break him mentally. BJ is a badass. He is very easy to identify with because he has very primitive motives. BJ is that strong, quiet guy, blue-collar guy that gets things done. He is an angry, angry man who has not had a lot of luck in his life. He is setting out to save the world. The sole focus is to kill the Nazis and liberate America. BJ and Anya's relationship is also evolving. They're about to become parents. She's pregnant. You've gotten so fat. It says we're having twins. So they're not just fighting for themselves, they're fighting for a future where the coming generations can live free. And I'll be damned if I'm gonna raise them in a world run by these Nazi assholes. And we have all of these characters that are all coming back and they can blossom in this story. And one of them is Frau Engel. She has a beef with BJ. I'm aggressive! Blaskovic is an icon of the resistance. They can't have him running around. They call him Terror Billy. So she has a personal vendetta and she really has a mission to take him out. But we also have these new characters that you know, are already trying to fight the Nazis in America. They're trying to hold their own fort. We've been in Europe. We've seen what happened. Now we're taking him to America. And you get to see that brutal Nazi version of the American diner, of the parade. And it's such a fun theme to explore, both as a developer and a player. Now you, show me your identification papers, please. I think what's interesting about America as a setting is that it's a country very much founded on the idea of freedom. So to have that be under totalitarian control, it's a very interesting juxtaposition. The new Colossus takes place in 1961, but it's not like the 1960s that we have in the real world. Technology has advanced at an incredible rate, meaning that primarily the Nazis, but also of course the resistance, have access to technology that is basically futuristic. I'm not saying it's space aliens, right? But it goes without saying it's fucking space aliens! What I love about making Wolfenstein games is that we've been given this amazing freedom to do things that are absolutely fearless from a story perspective. But we get to do it in a way where you as a player can be 100% invested and be respected. We're not dumbing things down. I mean, we do a lot of dumb things, but that's because they're fun. It's dangerous here, you have to be so quiet. It's never done in a way that's disrespectful to the world or the environment or the characters or the player. We feel like this is the best story that we've ever made. Ah!